Let's hear it from Jameson Tyone, Meredith Morakovitz with the first question. Jameson, walks have been extremely rare for you this season to start off with back-to-back -back watches. What was going on out there tonight? Yeah, that was kind of weird. Um, control's definitely been something even through good games and bad games that seems to kind of always be there. So that's not how I wanted to start for sure. Um, I was able to erase uh, the first guy on a double play. But if nothing else, it got the pitch count up and kind of put me in a weird spot. In retrospect, looking back, what do, what do you pinpoint when you look at the start? Um, two strike hits, two strike walks, um, getting into good counts, and then just not making the right pitch to put them away. Um, and then when I get back in the zone, it's either getting hit or I stayed out of the zone and walked guys. So um, just taking advantage of being in those good two strike counts and try to put guys away. As a fellow pitcher and somebody that's had to overcome a few injuries of his own, just to see King walk off the mound like that, what goes through your mind? Yeah, it's tough to watch. I mean, definitely thinking about him. It was kind of a somber mood in here after the game. Um, but, you know, he's a hard worker. I know he'll get back here and get back to the same spot that he was in. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's never easy seeing a guy walk off the field and then think about, you know, his girlfriend and family watching and stuff. That's not easy for anyone to see. So it's tough. You had the, the, the good story right before the break. But um, what would you say your biggest takeaway is from the time you started struggling uh, in the last stretch of uh, six starts or so? Um, I mean, a lot of different things. I think it really comes down to just making the right pitch in the right spot. Um, you know, so today I backed up a slider to Mateo. Like, that's kind of what I've been doing. Um, and when I'm going right, I get that slider to the right spot, uh, knowing he's like an aggressive hitter. So just controlling the lanes to lefties, getting the fastball to the right spot up in the zone, to righties, getting it down and away, um, getting the slider to the right spot. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'd say it's just like understanding the right areas to, to throw each of my strengths and then where to miss with it also. Is it easy to correct your mind? Um, it's easy to correct and understand, um, but then on a night like tonight, I just kind of felt off and, um, you know, I wasn't able to, to get control of that. When you say you felt off, are you physically okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm all good physically. I just felt kind of off, like, delivery-wise. You had said this before about the pitches at the right time. Is that pitch selection or execution? Uh, it's more execution. Um, you know, if I get my fastball to the right area, even if a guy's looking for it, it's still a good pitch. Same with the slider. Um, you know, and if it's the right pitch selection, but you throw it right down the middle, it doesn't really matter. Maybe one right now. Um, I don't know. I mean, first off, I'm grateful to be on a good team where the bullpen picks me up and the offense puts me in a good position and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, I mean, it hasn't been an easy last month or six weeks at this point. So, um, you know, I'd like to just put my head down and knock out some good starts here soon. Judge, I think, is on the pace for 63 now. Uh, what's it like watching that show? Yeah, I mean, he's got one of the best swings in the game. Um, and any time he barrels a ball, it can go really far. So um, just fun to watch. He gets attacked, you know, with everyone's best stuff every night. And he's still doing what he's doing, which makes it even more impressive. Like, I always think people throw a little harder against the Yankees, and they see Aaron Judge in the box, and they throw a little harder. Um, and he's still doing what he's doing. So it's pretty cool to watch. Nobody's hit 60 for, uh, like, Quite a while, I guess, since with the Bonds. Uh, when you're watching this, uh, do you think that it could happen this year? I mean, the rate he's going, he could, he could definitely accomplish anything. But um, you know, the impressive thing about him is he comes in and puts just super professional at bats together every night and waits for the pitcher to make a mistake and then jumps on it. So um, it doesn't seem to be in his head or anything.